So how's this lighting? It's it's good. Is it okay? Yeah. 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 <laughs> so what was your initial reaction when you heard that they wanted to do a Greek reunion here this year? Um, so I got a call from Sean Smith, the creator yeah. of the show, and he said the ATX television festival in Austin wants to do a Greek reunion. Uh, panel because they've had a lot of asks about it. Um, and I thought I'm pretty sure that he had gone to University of Texas, so the show was loosely based off of his experience. Okay. Um, yeah, he's from Texas, so it could be a different <laughs> Listen, I don't want to make a mistake and get yelled at, okay? So let's just say he went to college in Texas, yeah. right? So it was based off of his experience, him personally, of the Greek system. And I thought, well, yeah, we have to, obviously, we have to go and do this panel because. I didn't. I still sometimes don't realize how popular the show was at right. the time. Um, it was a world kind of before social media existed. We somewhere in the middle we started having Twitter, and we were like, "That's weird." Like people pretended to be you. Yeah. It didn't seem like a real thing. Yeah. Um, and to watch that transition and change over the years, I feel like I've grown a lot and you really it's wonderful to be in touch with your fan base that much now when I didn't necessarily have that at that time right um and I think you know the show itself represents that nostalgia of college and all the fun stuff I sometimes watch movies like Animal House and those like 80s movies and I feel that the show really emulated that and yeah. kind of was that was the seed that sparked it um like Ferris Bueller's Day Off and they were just fun and entertaining and hearted and um, celebrated life and humanity and change and growth and coming of age stories and I think Greek was a show that was directly correlated because of those movies. Yeah. So going back to the beginning of Greek, do you remember what your audition process was like? Oh yeah, of course. Um, so I, I had I had been on a soap opera in New York City um, and I. I left the show and started going back on auditions again and I, you know, they'd seen lots of people for this part and I think they were just doing one last search and I got in on this audition and to be honest, I, I was really busy and didn't have a lot of time to work on it. And I, but for some reason, this is the way it works with, with auditions, for some reason the show or the way that it's written, you just get it. it right. just It's just in your bones, the cadence of the character exists within you. And when I went on my audition, I kind of just kind of just came out of me. And I and then and they the tapes get sent to LA, and when they saw my audition, they we flew me out. I had dark hair at the time though, and so Casey was not fully spawned. <laughs> and it took a lot of convincing. Like I went out there, I tested, and then you go to another test, you do another audition, and you have to prove to the. Uh, the network and also the studio that you're the right person and I kept getting notes from Gil Younger who is the director of our pilot who directed 10 things I think about. Yeah. Um, you need to be more, more girl next door. More girl. I was too cool. I was too New York cool, like, apparently. Which I now, people are like, you're just too ne girl next door. Um, but it was, it, it was, I had to find that girly sister of rusty inside me in that audition and I, yeah. I guess I did because I got the job even though I had brown hair and then they were like you want your hair to be blonde and I was like yeah. alright sure it works for, it, it needed to be that for yeah. Casey yeah. I think it really was the perfect sorority role yeah. was Casey the only role you ever went out for? for that yes yeah for that show for that show yeah. I, was, it was the only, I know because a lot of people audition for a lot of different characters yeah. like Jake McDormand had auditioned for Kathy. Yeah, that's what someone just And it just kept yeah. getting flip flopped around. But yeah, no, I came, I was like, came in, I was the last person. Cast. Okay. It was like a week before they were filming. I think they were in penalty with SAG, and they need, they'd already done a test session, like the process, they, yeah. where they get a few girls. And so one girl had stayed from that test session into this one, and then I came in and was like, I'm taking this. This is my role. <laughs> yeah. And I came in, and then that was it. And then, you know, the rest is kind of history. Completely, we did our show for as many years that we right. even survived. There was a writer strike during the right. show, and we we even survived that and came back for another two two and a half seasons. Um, so yeah, it was a really it was a great it was a blessing and a great time in my life. Yeah. So kind of going off of that, I mean, yeah. what you just said, like four years, it's really embodied the, like a college experience for a lot of you guys in some ways. So I'm curious, like. Was it everything you expected to be as it went on? And like, what was just that process of like going through the show for four years like? 
I mean, anyone in their early 20s doing anything is a lot. <laughs> yeah. Plus, a lot of people on the show hadn't actually gone to school. So they right. actually, the youngest people on the show didn't, hadn't gone to college, and they just went straight into this show. So for them, it was like a college experience. Right. And in terms of what you learn about the industry and acting and what it's like to work on a set, I mean, right. we were, it was a rigorous schedule. Right. You know, I worked maybe 60 to 80 hour weeks every yeah. week, I mean, 15 hour days. Your like typical day on a single camera is about a 13 hour day yeah. with a lunch um, and you get pushed an hour every day so right. you would start your first day of work at 5.30 in the morning and end at 6.30 and then it just so the next day you start at 6.30 and then, and then by the time we got to Friday we called it Friday day that's like an uh, that's a set term on every set because Friday day just means oh yeah it's Friday and Saturday so you, have, so you end up working till like 3 or 4 in the morning um, but yes I think it was it, 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 that's always a transitional time in your life, and I learned a lot. I mean, going back now, I would probably have been different. I just didn't know any better. I was yeah. like a bratty 22-year-old. Yeah. <laughs> Where do you think Casey would be today? Oh, she's definitely like some senator yeah. somewhere. Yeah, I think so. Well, I have two versions. She's that, or she just like was like, fuck it. I'm like, bye. I'm moving. I'm opening like a bodega or like a taco stand in Mexico, and I'm like wearing flip flops all the time. That's another version. But I think she was so A type, she would have basically been Elle Woods. You yeah. Know? So with yeah. Cappy, though? Yes. Yeah. She has to be with Cappy, right? Or, I mean, or we see her when they're having like. Uh, break. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and they're like separated for a little bit, trying yeah. to figure out whether or not they're going to stay together, you know, and then they, right. they do or they yeah. don't, you know, you got to yeah. start off somewhere. Yeah. yeah. So I know she's giving me the wrap it up single, but I have one last question. Yes. So our website's called Talk Nerdy With Us because we all have some kind of inner nerd. So what is something you are currently nerding out about? Oh, flea bag. Yeah? I'm Everyone's been telling you to watch it. I'm, but also, I'm not just a nerd, like a nerd for Phoebe Waller Bridge. Like, I know I've not just watched the first season, but she has this other show called Crashing, which is not the same one as HBO. Okay. But about, like, this hospital in London. Anyway, I love everything that she does. And she was in, this is this is when it's annoying. She was in New York doing Fleabag, like the one woman show that it was based yeah. on. Yeah. Um, and I had tickets, which was sold out. And I messed up the day. Uh, because I'm in graduate school and in pilot season, and, like life is crazy, yeah. and I'm like a single mom, and like, and it was like, supposed to be on Sunday, and I like went Monday, and I was like, um, uh, is the show? And I, so I didn't get to see it. Oh I was my so god! But I, I thought, you know, eventually I'll meet people on the bridge and tell her she's amazing. Yeah. And also Killing Eve, like yeah. I love that show too. Oh yeah. She's, yeah. Like, she's okay. great. Yeah. Everything she does is brilliant. Yeah. Yeah. That's Very awesome. impressed. Yeah.